What's up guys, my name is Technobo here for Troubleshoot and today I'm bringing you a video on how to install RL Craft, which is a mod pack that is currently absolutely blowing up. PewDiePie and a bunch of other YouTubers are doing a series on this and because of that it's got over 1.5 million downloads on the CurseForge website and of course a lot of people are wondering how on earth they get this mod pack, how they get shaders, etc, etc. Well, in today's video, I'll be guiding you through installing the RL Craft mod pack, because if you haven't tried it already, there's an install button in the top right. If we go ahead and click that, it'll show us this page over here. You might notice that nothing actually downloads, and if you see this message down here, if your download doesn't automatically start, click here. If you click it, you'll notice absolutely nothing happens. Opening up in a new tab might be a bit confusing, because instead of HTTP, it says Twitch. So how exactly do we go about downloading this? Well, if we go back a page and scroll down, you might have noticed these files over here. These files are not what you need to download and install RL Craft. These are for manual installation and it's gonna be a lot harder doing it this way. The way that you should be doing it is heading across to the RL Craft mod pack page on CurseForge and then hitting the get desktop button at the top. This will take you to twitch.tv slash downloads and you'll need to download the launcher for your PC. So I'm using Windows. I'll hit download for Windows. Once it's done downloading, simply left click on it to install it. Once it opens up, you can simply hit install or hit advance to change where it's installed. Disabling hardware rendering is something you should do if you experience problems running say Discord and games or things like that at the same time or if you have a really low powered CPU or GPU combination. I'm going to leave this unchecked and hit install. After installing, it'll validate files and then open up. Once you're here, you'll be asked to log in or sign up to Twitch. So you'll need to go ahead and do that now. Once you've logged in, you'll see a landing page similar to this. At the top, simply head across to Mods. Once you're in here, head across to Minecraft. And if it's not already installed, you can hit Install or Advanced to change details about where it's installing to. I'm just going to hit Install. Once it's installed, you'll see something like this. Of course, if you have Minecraft installed from the official launcher, it should appear here. So let's head across to Browse Mod Packs. And then in the right hand side at the top, we'll type in RL Craft. Then the top result should actually be RL Craft. You can simply hit the install button next to it or click on it and then hit the install button in the top right. So we'll go ahead and do that now. There we have it, now it's installed. You can hit play in the top right or you can go ahead and change the amount of dedicated RAM which is suggested down here under setup and installation here by this line, parameters. It says that the default is one gigabyte of RAM and that's not enough. They recommend setting between three to four gigs of RAM or more if possible. You can check how much RAM you have by right clicking your start bar, task manager and heading across to the performance tab. Then you'll see memory followed by the size. I have 16 gigs of RAM and 4 is currently in use. Obviously you can only use what RAM is not currently in use, so I can set it to about 12 or preferably somewhere around 10, leaving some space for the rest of my PC to function. So how exactly do we go about changing that? Well they say enable JVM arguments and enter this over here, but that's a bit confusing. So let's go ahead and at the top we'll hit my mod packs and you'll be taken back to this page over here. You should only have one, I don't know why there's two showing, but anyways, let's go ahead and click on one of them and you'll see this page over here. So in the top right, hit the settings icon and then head across to profile options. Then you can uncheck use system memory settings and set an amount of RAM that you'd like to give it. I'll give it say something around 10 gigs. Okay, and that's it. Now after you hit play, you'll start RL Craft with those settings. If this is the first time you're playing Minecraft, you'll see the launcher start up like this and you'll be asked to log in. After hitting a login, you'll see this page over here and RL Craft should automatically be selected. If you head across to installations and hit the three dots next to RL Craft as well as edit, you can enter some more options over here if you'd like to change them even further or set a resolution for it to start at. So I'll simply hit cancel and head back to here. Basically, once you see this page, all you really need to do is hit play. The game will then load and start up as normal, and you'll be dropped into RL Craft. There we have it, we have RL Craft open, and that's that. So anyways, thank you all for watching this video. If you liked it, make sure to press like, and if you'd like to find out how to set up a server so that you can play with your friends, make sure to look at the link down in the description below, or go ahead and click the pop-up in the top right of the video now. Also linked below is a video on how to install Optifine for RL Craft 1.12.2, and it should work for basically all future releases as well, for that sweet, sweet extra FPS, shaders, etc, etc. 
Anyways, that's it. My name's been Technobi here for Troubleshoots, and I'll see you guys next time. Ciao.